hello dear students welcome to the class on intravenous route of administration practical pharmacology so in this class let's learn about the absorption status and advantage and disadvantages of intravenous route of administration with respect to absorption whenever the drug is given through intravenous route it doesn't require any absorption at all that means the drug will enter directly into the systemic circulation coming to the advantages of intravenous route so it produces immediate effects as soon as the drug is administered and uh, uh, the large volume can be accommodated through intravenous route and uh, you can give the irritating substances as well as the complex mixtures through intravenous route it is very helpful and valuable in case of emergency situation because of their immediate uh, response and dose can be tightened very easily and ideally it is very helpful in administration of high molecular weight proteins and peptide drugs so coming to the disadvantages of intravenous route so intravenous route is unsuitable for oily preparations and whenever the bolus injection is given there might be a risk of some adverse reactions and most of the uh, drugs which are given through intravenous has to be given slowly and always you should need to take care about the strict aseptic precaution before intravenous injection so thank you if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share it thank you